congratulations, you've made it to lesson 27, which is the final assessment. Uh, in lesson 27, you're gonna have free reign to design your own game and how you would like that game to progress. Now, as we've worked through this, we've looked at different types of games. Uh, lesson 25, uh, if you choose to do, uh, you can see this is like a cake defending game. We have some things with the sprites moving. Uh, so this is something that if this is a type of game that you're interested into, we've done uh, slider games, we've done uh, flying bots or flying games, and this is just another example of something like that. We also have the idea of a platform game, uh, which is lesson 26. So if you're interested in making a vertical or side-by-side -side platform type game, uh, that might be something to take a look at as well. Uh, if you're interested in any of those and need some refreshing and have a walkthrough. Otherwise, uh, in lesson 27, you're gonna design your own game. There is a document that you're gonna fill out, which is uh, via Google document, which is your game design plan. So what we can see here is we have one already filled out for us as a demo. Uh, this person is going to make a monkey jumper game. The monkey will jump and try to catch an apple. When the monkey catches the apple, the apple will move to a different place, and the monkey has to get it again. He will jump with the space bar and move left and right with the arrows. They've done a rough sketch of what their uh, game screen or design screen looks like. Uh, they even say that the tree only shows up when you have enough apples. They label the different sprites, where they want to place them, how the sprites will interact. Here's the user input. This is how it interacts with the monkey itself. Um, again, it's keeping track of the variables, meaning this is going to be their scoring variables. Uh, what functions they're going to have? Well, they're going to need one for the monkey to move. They're going to need one for the gravity, which makes the monkey uh, makes the monkey fall. Uh, they're need they're going to have one for the drawing of the background and for the tree and a function to reset the apple to a place. So where your game really starts is with that design process. So how what's the layout it's going to be? What's the coding that you need to have? So when you go about trying to program your game, you have a well laid out plan.